Happy Lunar New Year! We are celebrating the year of the ox and water buffalo. This week's programs are made possible by our presenting sponsor, First Tech Federal Credit Union. Happy New Year! San Nin Fai Lok, Shin Nin Kwai Le. Chúc mừng năm mới! Hello friends, hi, how are you today? My name is Laura and welcome to Discovery Time. Today we're gonna to be talking about Lunar New Year. Have any of you ever heard of Lunar New Year before? If you have, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, maybe a thumbs down. Okay, so some of you have, some of you haven't. All right, well Lunar New Year is an amazing festival and it celebrates the beginning of the new year in many Asian cultures. They celebrate their new year based on the cycles of the moon. And each year is associated with a different animal. Do you know what last year's animal was? It was the, 2020 was the year of the rat. And this year in 2021, Lunar New Year is going to be on February 12th. And the animal this year, it's the year of the ox or the year of the water buffalo in Vietnam. One of the things that people do for Lunar New Year is they decorate their home. And one of the things that they decorate their homes with are blossoms, such as these. These aren't real, these are pretend. I didn't have any real blossoms on me at home. But do you know what a blossom is? These are special, they're not just regular flowers. Do you know what a blossom is? A blossom is a flower from a tree that eventually is going to form into a fruit, a piece of fruit. How amazing is that? How does that happen? Well, how it happens is first you have your branch and then on that branch it forms a bud and then the bud forms a flower and then eventually the, on the flower the petals fall off and what's left is a little tiny piece of fruit that grows bigger and bigger and bigger until it's ready to be eaten. So there's different types of um, fruit trees. There's plums, there's cherries, and peaches, nectarines, apricots. And so the different blossoms that are used for the Lunar, Lunar New Year celebration are based off of whichever fruit tree blossoms first in that country. So for instance, in China, they celebrate using the blossoms from either cherry trees or plum trees and those represent the earth coming back to life and giving good fortune. In northern Vietnam they use the blossoms from peach trees and this represents peace and health. Whereas in southern Vietnam the apricot tree is the one to blossom first and that produces a beautiful yellow flower and this represents happiness, prosperity, and good luck. So today, we are gonna make our own blossoms to decorate our home for Lunar New Year. You can see I made a few here already. I made some with branches with the pink blossoms that we would see in China or in Northern Vietnam. And I also made one here with the yellow blossoms that you would see in Southern Vietnam. So to do our activity today, you're gonna to need some materials, all right? The first thing you are going to need is tissue paper. Um, I just had some tissue paper that I found around my house from gifts that we had gotten in the past. I have pink or yellow, whichever color you wanna use. If you don't have tissue paper, that's okay. You can use a regular piece of paper that you color with a marker, or if you have Maybe your adults at home have some coffee filters. You could also use a coffee filter that you color with a marker to make a pink or yellow color that we can use, okay? Another thing you're gonna need is a branch. So what I did is I went outside and I looked around for a good stick that I could use. And I found this stick. I thought it was kind of interesting because it has a little bit of, um, 
different textures on it and some different ways the branch goes, different directions the branch goes. So I thought that was kind of interesting. If you cannot find a branch, or if you have a very young child who might have a harder time sticking the blossoms onto such as a thin branch, you can also use a piece of cardboard to make a branch. And so on our website, you can download our branch template from our activity sheet. And you can use this as a template to cut out and trace onto a piece of cardboard and cut this out. That's another option you can use. Couple more things you're gonna need, a pair of scissors and some glue, just a regular school glue. And then I have a little tray that I'm gonna pour my glue in to use. All right, so once you've gotten all your materials, let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to make a branch out of cardboard if you prefer to use a cardboard branch. If you wanna download our template, you can cut out your branch to trace, which I've already done here. So I'm gonna use this marker to trace my branch. and then you're going to cut it out with your scissors. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is then cut our tissue paper into about one inch squares. And so you can either use scissors to do this. You can cut pieces like this. you can rip too. Ripping might be kind of fun. <laughs> Just into approximate pieces. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so now that we have our tissue paper done, I'm gonna pour some glue into my tray here. You don't need a whole lot of glue. You might just wanna add a little bit and then keep adding to it as you need more. And I'm gonna grab my branch. So I'm gonna start with my branch first. I'm gonna grab a piece of tissue paper and I'm just gonna squish it with my fingers. This is fun. Just kind of squish it with your finger and then you're gonna dip one, two, 
and then three, you're gonna stick onto your branch like that. Okay? So let's keep going. One, two, stick. One, two, stick. One, two, stick. And you're just gonna keep on going until you have as many blossoms as you want on your branch. Okay, or you can use your cardboard. And again, this might be a better option for especially younger kids who um, might have a little bit harder a time sticking the blossoms onto such a thin branch. So for our cardboard, once again, you're gonna squish your, your tissue paper. One, two, stick. And there you go. One more, one, two, and stick. All right, oh, I love it. I got my branch, my other branch. <laughs> and you can just keep on adding as many blossoms as you'd like to your branch until you feel that your branch is how you want it. All right. All right, my friends, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun, I know I did. I would love to see some of the beautiful blossom branches that you created. So please, if you have a chance, take a picture and upload it so that we can see your beautiful blossoms. All right, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful Lunar New Year and we will see you next time. Take care, bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our winter broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.